7 steps to mix and yield. The volume variance is used to trace inefficiencies in the usage of products and is split into the mix and the yield variance. The mix variance is the part of the volume variance which relates to the ratio being different and the yield variance is used to identify changes in the amount of products used or sold to reach the output level. You can only use a mix and yield variance when there are two or more products which are sold or used in a ratio, such as a third and two thirds of A and B, 1 to 2 of A and B and 20% to 80% of A and B. For this we are going to use budgeted production of 1000 units and actual production of 900 units. We will be using material A and B and in the budget we will say that 2 kilograms and 1 kilogram of each are used and for the actual information we will assume 1300 and 1200 for each. For our volume variance we will always use the standard price for calculations and that therefore results in the material A favorable variance and material B adverse variance. Please note that you should never use the standard quantity multiplied with budgeted units when calculating the volume variance but the actual units because this is your flexed quantity. For our mix variance we will be comparing the actual ratio to the standard ratio. We will use 2646 for both which is our actual quantity unit but we will apply different ratios. This therefore gives us our mix variances if we calculate it. The next step will be deciding the direction of the variances. If we look at material A, our actual usage was 1350, where with the standard ratio we should have used 1760. This is therefore a favorable variance as we use less. And for material B, it's the exact same thing, but we used more than we should have used. For our yield variance, we will be comparing the standard usage with the budgeted ratio usage. This gives us different amounts of kilograms in total, as we are applying it to a budgeted flexed amount of units but we are still using the exact same ratio which then gives us our two yield variances for material A and B. To decide on the direction for the yield variance we will look at it as the volume variance is normal. For material A in the standard based on actual information we use 1700 as we're in the budget we should have used 1800 which gives us a favorable variance because we use less. The same would apply for material B. We lastly need to see how these variances talk to each other. We use less materials than we should have used, resulting in a favorable volume variance. This is due to the yield variance being favorable and the mix variance being favorable. We use less of the expensive material and more cheap materials. We can also conclude that the cheap materials did not have any impact on our quality. This was due to us still using less than we budgeted for. If we used more materials, we could have concluded that we have wastage due to lower quality materials, being more cheap materials, but this was not the case here. We were better off for changing our ratio and we should apply this in our production going forward as it yields better results.